Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Breakfast with Bob from Clash Daytona. My name is Bob Babbitt, and we are brought to you by Toyota, Captiva Spine, Foundation Risk Partners, and USA Triathlon. My next guest, the winner here at Miami last year, at uh, Challenge Miami last year, Jody Stimson joins us. How are you doing, Jody? Very well, very well. It's good to be here. It's good to be in the States. I've been here for a while now, so it's been awesome, awesome being here before the race. Well, and early, in, it, when you came here for Challenge Miami, was that one of your first races without your dad being there? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was super tough. It was not only tough for me, but I, I managed to get mom out with me as well. And it yeah. was, it was really tough for her as well. And you know what, the, the tough times are going to continue because, you know, a massive chunk of my triathlon life's not here to share it with me. He is here um, in my heart, but not here in person. So I think those tough times are going to continue. And winning that race for basically for your dad, yeah, and beating Lucy Charles as a really, really great field that had to mean something special. Oh, d definitely. I mean, I think you know, I'd, I'd dedicate my whole career to my mom and dad, like, I wouldn't have accomplished anything without them. Um, but definitely, he got me. He got me to that win. Um, he, he kept me digging all the way, and he, he, he has done throughout my whole career, um, and he'll continue to. So you have been, this is, this is an A race for you because you've been here for how long in Florida? Yeah, this is, I mean, this year has been pretty tough. Um, you know, I started off the year great with a win in Miami. Yes. Absolutely stoked. Um, then I've had some massive injuries to kind of deal with. I had one injury. It kind of took me out for, you know, 10, 11 weeks without running. Got back for three weeks and then got another injury that took me out again. So yeah, it's been a really tough year. So then it's been, you know, it's been a struggle, but working with my new coach. Um, oh, who's your new coach? Jody Cunema. Ah! Oh. Yeah, <laughs> drop that name in there, yeah. Ah. Um, Former Jody Swallow. That's, yeah, yes, indeed, she certainly yeah. knows her, her knows the game. Yeah, definitely. And it's, you know what, she's kind of refreshed everything for me. Um, and, you know, it's exciting working with someone that, you know, really believes in me and believes in what I can do. and. You know, he's, he's working on a whole, it seems like a whole new sport, like I said before, and, you know, all these new challenges and stuff that Jody's chucking at me, I'm just really enjoying the process again. So you have, you did Daytona last year, your 15th, mm -hmm. and then you win in Miami. So I, I look at these, these events, as a, this is like a playground, right? You can, there's a there's a lake over there you could be doing stuff all week long when you came over here for the first time and obviously having success at miami what do you take away from just this whole concept of the clash series i think you know what it it, it sounds it sounds a little bit like it's just the way that everybody comes and there's a race for everybody everybody can take part in it everybody's involved it's such a great atmosphere that's yeah. compact into you know into the speedway it, right. you know it's awesome and you share that kind of race scenario with everybody all weekends and that's really unique usually before like i'd go i'd race i'd come away and you wouldn't be able to share that with many people right and now you've kind of got people doing sprint halves a kids race you know running a events, para race, yeah. running race it's like so compact and everybody is here because they love doing triathlon and being a part of it and that's really unique. Yes. And it is different being in that arrow position like oh. on the track. What did you gain from Daytona that helped you in Miami? Daytona was a bit of a slap in the face, if I'm honest. <laughs> it was like, oh, these girls can really push the watts. Yes, they can. And like, I, I can, you know, I, I'd say I could match them on a road bike. Right. Like, I, I'm level with them. I'm good. Like, and before I was going into, going, okay, I'm a good cyclist. Like, you know, that'll get me some, no, absolutely spat me straight out the back as soon as I got onto the track. I was like, oh, this is another different, this is a whole different game. And it's still a massive process that, mm -hmm. like, I'm learning, but it's kind of, you know, three weeks before coming out to the States, I did an awful lot of stuff on the turbo, like, and, you know, really trying to, get and stay in that aero position um but then that's continued when i've been out here for three weeks because there's a, a trail that sarah mccarty introduced me to van fleet trail and literally it's a straight road for like 50 miles yes no interruptions no nothing so you have no excuse but to stay down in the bars 
Um, so that it's been it's been awesome preparation. I think all my preparation going into it has gone smoothly. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get out there. When you the difference between Daytona and 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 Homestead, Miami was here. You are in the arrow the whole time. The Miami was a road course, right? So you had there was some twists, some turns, some wind. There was a lot of other things. Yeah. Did, is this tougher? I'd say definitely. For me personally, yeah, yeah. yes. Um, because Miami gave me that little bit of a break. It gave me the break to get out of the aero position. Um, I could play. I played that race tactically, like there was a quite a strong headwind. And at that point, you had like Heather Jackson and Paula that were out in front, and I just had to hold my 20 meters. Right. But I was still getting a benefit that 20 meters because it was such a strong headwind. So, you know, it was me just hanging on to them, to be honest. But it gave me that little bit of breather on the technical bit where I was probably one of the better ones coming through the technical bit just to give me that bit of an advantage. Yes. But here, there's no technical bit. <laughs> there's hardly any wind. It's pure power, pure speed. Get down and just have to ride fast. Um <laughs> And there's no let up. No let up at all. So from ITU, 70 starts, 21 podiums, 11 wins. Uh, the transition to this, right, to this type of the being in the aero position, you know, the, when you race the ITU circuit, the WTS races, it's a lot of out of the saddle. It's a lot of almost like criterium racing. Yeah. How tough was it for you to adapt to this? Honestly, I don't think I've adapted yet. Like, I, I don't think it's something that you can't do overnight. And right. I haven't. I haven't raced that many 70.3s. No, yeah. Like Still I th- fairly new. Yeah, like I think I've done four or five. Yeah. Like I literally haven't done a lot. And for me, I'll learn more with races um, and just putting myself out there and learning from the best in the world. Like, and, you know, it was a massive learning curve coming here last year and getting my backside handed to me. But... I've learned and like, and you know, those kind of experiences, they're not wasted because I'm learning from them. Right. And that's what's going to make me better and make me be able to compete with, you know, Lucy Charles and, you know, these, the best women that are, that are out there at the minute. So being able to, because I don't, was that the first time you had raced Lucy last year? It, yes. Uh, here? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, obviously, you you guys are all fans of each other. You follow oh, each other. And, so much respect for. But Lucy. to be to be on the starting line and there, hey, this is a person I read about all the time and watch her in her videos and admire and, and admire, right? And you guys are all taking the game from here to there. When you're when you're when you're on the run and Lucy's like two inches behind you, what are you thinking? <laughs> um. I, in that moment, it's kind of like, I'm like, you're just trying to focus on yourself right. and kind of just, okay, what can I do? Am I doing everything that I need to do? Um, and kind of trying not to focus on her. Right. Because um, I can't control her. No, you I can't. can't. I can't control what she's doing before it, what she's doing then. Is she suffering? I don't know. I can just control on myself. Am I hydrating? Am I fueling? Um, am I doing everything I can do to get my best performance? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, it's intimidating when you've got Lucy Charles on the start line next to you. <laughs> but you know what? I really admire just the way that she, especially this year, is kind of going over to the short course. Yes. And like, you know what? She's been so dominant in long course and she's going over to the short course and she's having a great few races and... But she's chucking herself into the deep end as well. Absolutely. And, like, and ex- like kind of exactly what I was doing in Daytona last year yes. is that she's learning from every race and you can see that she's taking away bits to learn from in every race and that's only going to get, she's only going to get better and better and learn these new skills that she needs to, to kind of, you know, maybe get to, you know, the Olympics that she wants to. It's going to be a tough ask for her to do that, but you can see that she's getting better and better each race. It's so funny because it's all the progress. Uh, progression has always been you go short to long. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and you see someone like that who is an Ironman athlete jumping into leads and going and finishing, what, a minute behind Flora Duffy. Who was, she was like fifth and Flora was fourth. And Flora goes off and wins a gold medal. And you're going, oh, my God. And then she's racing Super League. And you're going – this people going people are changing yep. what the perceptions used to be you don't go long to short you, you never have in the no, past no. 
but it's it's happening and you guys are mixing it up with all different distance athletes yeah and i also think i think that the 70.3 as well is getting so much faster oh yeah like <laughs> like it was probably naive of me to think that well, like once you come up like it was you know you you drop speed um but you can't afford to drop speed because everything <laughs> is just so much faster yes. and like the paces that people are swimming cycling and running is You've just got to keep that speed going from what I was doing in ITU. Right. You've just got to keep doing it for longer. Yeah, yeah. It's not like you're going, okay, I can I can go a little slower. No. You, no, it's the same pace. Yeah. Yeah, but twice as long. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what would it mean to you? You started out your season in March uh, winning at, at Miami and then potentially finishing up your season here, hopefully winning here at Daytona. What would it mean to win this race? I think the field's, the field's stacked. Like, I've, you know, I've got some – some very impressive girls yes, to race against. Um, to come away with a good performance here and finish the year, you know, on a positive note would mean a lot. Um, it's been a tough year just because of injury, and that's probably the toughest for an athlete right. to deal with, not being able to compete, like, and do what you want to do yes. and what, you know, you train to do. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it'd mean an awful lot to come away with a good performance here, but... It's a stacked field, so I know it's going to be a tough day. And after Miami, I'm sure you and your mom uh, sort of celebrated the win, but also we're, we're celebrating that, the person who was missing. Yeah, and, you know, it's been, it, it's been tough. It was, you know, it was supposed to be Dad's birthday this week. Um, he's supposed to turn 59. Um, so, 59 you know, is way too young. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. It's, yeah, he was taken away far too young from, from us, and, you know, I'm angry at that. Yes. Um, you know, and, I'll, t and I'll, t I'll take that anger out on the weekend, and that's what he would have wanted me to do, and, and that's what I'll continue doing. Jody, it's always such a treat to get to chat with you. Thank I you. I love it. Enjoy your Pez. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> hey, everybody, thanks again for tuning in. Bob Babbitt here at Breakfast with Bob from Clash Daytona. We'll be back tomorrow with a full slate of interviews. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. See ya.